the Hive GTNH public SMP is here. The same seed, the same rules, but no application, just Greg. Except for one thing, our team was crafted to achieve the goal and push toward the end. Will all of you work together? Will you police yourself to follow the challenge rules? Will there be ultimate glory? Or will you split off into teams and realize you've gotten way over your head? Following last week's video about the private Hive GTNH SMP, the support of my streams and content has been absolutely incredible, and for that I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you who watch my videos and watch my streams. Since that video, there have been many applications for the run, and there's an overwhelming feeling that many people wanted to play the challenge. Because we couldn't accept everyone, we thought we'd do the next best thing. We're opening a public GTNH server that anyone can join and attempt the same challenge run that we are trying. But before I tell you how to join, let's go over some of the rules of the challenge that you're going to have to follow. All quests must be completed in each tier before moving on. You'll need to do all the quests from the multi-block goals tab that are unlocked as well. When you can do the next available quests, you must complete them before moving on from the tier that you are in. Two. Superconductors only. Like I mentioned in my video last week, you can only use superconductors. LV doesn't have one, but it has a lossless cable, the redstone alloy, which you can get after you acquire the EBFs. You must make 64 brick blacks furnaces and coke ovens before leaving the steam age. This is a test of sanity and grind, and if you can gather enough resources by having, before having real machines that allow you to acquire them faster. 4. EBFs and other tier progression multi-blocks must be made 8 at a time. This starts with 8 Copernical EBFs in low voltage LV and then moves to 8 vacuum freezers in HV and so on. When you get to later tiers, you can reduce these to 4 or 2 critical progression multis, but that's up to your discretion. And as you progress, you're going to end up needing lots of multis for everything you do, so you may want to invest in the infrastructure. Number 5. Clean room must be 63 by 63 by 63. There's nothing to that. Good luck. Number six, you must take you must make twist space multi blocks when you can. There are two in Steam Age. The Mega Brick Black Furnace can be made in LV Age, and the rest are mostly in later parts of the pack. The as of recording, the Eye of Wood currently doesn't have any recipes, so there's no need to make that one. Number seven, you must make as many rockets as team members. For us, there's 13 members, so we're gonna have to make 13 copies of every rocket before we launch. Eight. You're going to have to semi-passive chem lines and resource lines. This means you need to input the base resource and then you get the final output without player interference. This can mean an EBF line for gallium arsenide crystal or a chem reactor and assembler for coded cables. You must upgrade every setup and multi-blocks to max tier before you move on from each tier. Every setup has to go to MV before you go to HV. And every multi-block you have in MV has to be on double MV power as well. This applies to every tier going up. So platline in EV has to be on all IV power. So you better have some infrastructure ready. Number 10. This next one is a big one. You cannot use items if they aren't able to be made in the tier you're in. This means that loot games, loot bags, and found items can't be used until you're able to make them yourself. Stuff like the helicopter pack or the flight potion and using a chicken trophy. Can't make that in an MV, but if you get it from a loot bag, tough luck. You're going to have to wait. Number 11. EBFs and other multis must be upgraded at the same time. If you want to go to Canthal Coils from Cooper Nickel, all the EBFs must be changed. And number 12. Finally, have fun. Follow the rules. Let's see what you can get up to. That's it. Those are the rules. That's the challenge. If you see people breaking the rules or griefing or whatever it may be, report it in Discord in the help desk channel and an admin will take care of it. The server goes live March 9th, 2024 at 4 p.m. Eastern. Join my Discord. The link's down in the description. Locate the Hive GTNH public SMP channel and follow the instructions there. You'll have to download two mods, server utilities and twist space, and then you should be, you should be good to go. And note, the server will have a player cap. Due to the amount of resources you need dedicated to a Minecraft server, we can't let 50 people on at one time all exploring and doing their own thing. So a player cap will be in force so the server doesn't take too big of a hit with everyone on. There will also be a 30 minute AFK timer. So if you leave for 30, 30 minutes, you may forfeit your spot. And finally, I as well as the other members will also be hands off. I, we won't be playing. This is a public server. I will be checking in from time to time, but have fun. Go crazy, build a mega base, but play as you want to play and form alliances, make teams, and try to complete the challenge. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.